One of the strongest evidence for the Bible being reliable and trustworthy comes from its accuracy in historical details. When you look at a book, if you want to convince me this book is the guide for how we can know God and be saved, the book better not have a bunch of errors in it. Uh, the book better not mess up when it's recording history. If indeed God inspired the Bible, it should record history accurately. And in order to show how it accurately records history, one area that is very useful to look at in apologetics is archaeology. And when you look at archaeology, really digging up past civilizations, really looking at mankind and, and the remnants of ancient mankind, uh, throughout the world, it continually confirms what the Bible has told us from the beginning. I mean, all the way back to the flood itself, we have archaeological records of, of multiple cultures, hundreds of cultures, with legends of this worldwide flood that the Bible talks about. You look at something like the Tower of Babel and the dispersion out of Babel into the rest of the world, and again, we now find archaeology in the Mesopotamian region that shows where the Tower of Babel is. The actual Tower of Babel, with some confidence, has been discovered, and, and the spreading out from that point you, you skip on down to the Exodus as, as the Israelites are coming out of Egypt and seeing Mount Sinai, where Mount Sinai is. Uh, you, you go ahead to Israel and seeing the records there of the Davidic dynasty. You go to Jesus, seeing all the evidence in archaeology for, for the empty tomb and for the tombs of other individuals and, and names and places. Archaeology confirms scripture. And if you want to strengthen your faith in the Bible, I suggest that you pick a topic, pick a topic, something like Mount Sinai, something like the, the evidence of the Davidic dynasty, something like the Tower of Babel, and, and just research and learn about how the discoveries we've made, a topic like Jericho, confirm the details that scripture gave us thousands of years ago.